الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علیہ نبین محمد وعلیٰ علی و صحبہ وسلم اما بعد حبت فلاح اٹس امپورٹنٹ دیٹ وی بگن ٹو بلڈ کمیونٹی اینڈ دیٹ وی گو بی آن جسٹ ڈسکسنگ دوز ایشوز اینڈ لیکچرز اپان دوز ایشوز ہاؤ ایور وی نیڈ ٹو ہیئر دوز لیکچرز از ویل بٹ وٹ آئی مین از از وی نیڈ ٹو گو اے اسٹیپ فردر اینڈ وٹ آئی do have to recognize and praise what I see some of Ahl al-Sunnah doing is fantastic. I see some of the brothers, for example, in Philadelphia, what the brothers are doing in the Muslim Family Center. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve them and bless them to continue in their programs because they're doing a lot of khair and a lot of good works. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them with tawfiq. And we need to emulate that uh, all around the country and go even further. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them with tawfiq in doing that. Also with the brother... Uh, Farooq Post, he's very doing a lot of positive activity uh, in his community and teaching the children and raising up the community. We have efforts all around where they have schools, Muslim schools. So we, we need to be concerned with the affairs of our youth, raising and saving the youth from the effects of the dunya. Because especially around the world, because I'm in Saudi Arabia and I see the youth here, how much they are influenced by. Uh, tattooing is becoming popular the love of uh, Tupac the love of many other rappers and Tupac is outdated but they still have an extreme love a lot of the youth a lot of my youth want to know about how to be like Pitbull and how to use the language of of uh, Eminem and well you know these newer rappers I'm actually outdated And so it's very important that we focus on the issues of the youth, how to encourage them uh, to, uh, to adhere to their religion. And this comes through, of course, teaching through Talib al-Ilm. As the Prophet sallallahu said that this is the path to Jannah. This is also the path of reform for our community, that Talib al-Ilm, Talib al-Jannah, <clears throat> as the Salaf al used to say. And the Prophet ﷺ said, مَنْ سَلَقَ تَرِيْهِنْ يَلْتَلْمَسُهُ بِهِ عِلْمٍ سَحَلَ اللَّهُ لُوْ تَرِيْكَنْ الْجَنَّةِ Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise. But getting the youth to be interested in knowledge is another thing. So I do believe that we need youth programs and we need uh, youth activities. Things to show them that Ahl al-Sunnah uh, is in the forefront in being concerned about their welfare and and their well-being and Ahl al-Sunnah is there for them and that Ahl al-Sunnah uh, and when I'm referring to Ahl al-Sunnah I'm meaning especially the students of knowledge those people who are in positions those imams and those du'at that they are concerned for their well-being and that they're designing programs to help uh, encourage the youth to do Talib al-Ilm and to just practice and hold on to their Islam because they are confronted with everything from the right to the left aside from the deviance of Ahl al-Bidah but they are confronted with so much with regards to the shahwat of the dunya whether that be music whether that be uh, uh, violence uh, gun violence for us in America knife violence for our brothers and sisters in the UK and all around the world we face these uh, the uh, the onslaught and the the uh, inclination towards gangs because we don't find that support in our communities if we don't find the strong brotherhood in our communities and we don't see the ta'awun ala biri wa taqwa that should be there and the tamasik bi sunnah wa itisam bi hablillah if we don't see that in our community the holding on to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the cooperation in righteousness and piety the help and support for one another the filling those gaps and those voids then the youth will find that through their gangs And they will find that through uh, false uh, types of brothership that lead to the shaitan. So they will find this with the Hizb al-Shaitan. They will find this with the, the party, the partisanship of shaitaniyah, of the devils. And the devils will only lead you astray and lead you to the grave. And they won't lead you to the khayr of the akhirah. So it's very important, habit fillah, that we have this ta'awun ala biri wa taqwa. That we support each other financially, if we have the means. And if nothing else, in dua, to help build these institutions. To help build these places, these centers of, uh, of learning. And centers of uh, teaching how to be 
young men and how to be young women in these centers of counseling, in these centers that offer all the things that communities need and those Islamic schools and Islamic programs. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us all with tawfiq wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad.